Hello and welcome. Today we're doing a question from LeetCode called Maximum Number of Balloons. This is from the LeetCode Crash Course on Data Structures and Algorithms. This question is easy, so see if you can solve this. Now, what are we being asked? Given a string text, you want to use the characters of text to form as many instances of the word balloon as possible. You can use each character in text at most once, meaning we can't reuse any of those characters to form another instance of balloon return the maximum number of instances that can be formed. Example one, this is our input text over here, N-L-A-E-B-O-L-K-O. We can only form one instance of balloon. We can spell out B-A-L-L-O-O-N. We don't have enough occurrences of all the characters to form more than one instance. In this case, say we had an extra N, so we had two Ns. That N could have been used for our second instance of balloon, but for that, we would also need another B, another A, two more L's, and then two more O's as well, which we just don't have, so our output is one. Example two, this is our input over here. So how many instances of every single character do we have? Well, if we were to count them up, we would see that we have four L's, we have four O's, we have two N's and two B's as well. We also have two A's over here, one X and one P. So with these characters, how many instances of balloon can we form? Well, how many characters does balloon actually take up? Balloon is B-A-L-L-O-O-N. This means we have one B, one A, two L's, two O's, and one N. This is all to form one instance of balloon. How many instances of all of these characters do we see in our input text? We have four L's, so that's actually enough to form balloon two times over because for each balloon, we only need two L's. If we have four, we can form it twice. We have four O's and we need two for one word. So two per instance and we have four in total means we can also form two words with our O. We have two N's, we only need one N per instance. So we can also form two words with our N. We have two B's and two A's. Again, we can form our word balloon two times over. Now, since all of these are two, our answer and output is also going to be two. Say that wasn't the case though, say we only had three L's instead of four. Well, then we would actually not be able to form two balloons, right? We would be short an L, meaning our L would only allow us to form one word. And even though the rest of the characters are all there, they allow us to form two words. Because we don't have enough L's, we'll have to always go with the minimum. If this was four, say we had four Bs in our input and L was still one, no matter how many occurrences of any other character we have, we are bound by whatever character results in the fewest occurrences. So in this case, the smallest answer would be one. But if we go back to our original instance, the minimum here is two. So our output is also two. Last example, looking at leak code over here, we have one L, three E's, one T, one C, one O, and one D. Now, how many balloons can we actually form? Well, let's see how many of these letters occur in our input. We don't have any Bs in our input, so already we know this is going to result in zero total words. It doesn't matter if all of these other characters are there because we'll never have that B. We'll only ever be able to form a loon instead of balloon, so our output is going to be zero. So how do we solve this? Well, we sort of already use the logic when going through our examples. We know we want to find how many times over we can form balloon, which means we want to take our input and count how many occurrences of every single character that we have, specifically B, A, L, O, and N. Then we want to see for every single character B, A, L, O, N, how many times it occurs in our input. That's going to represent the number of words we can make per character. Now we also want to keep in mind how many characters it actually takes to form balloon. For example, if we see four Bs in our input, we can actually form four words of balloon with that B. But if we have four occurrences of L, we can only form two instances of balloon because balloon takes in two Ls and two Os. We do want to adjust our count for that. So we want to divide our Ls and O occurrences by two each. Now that we have an idea of how we want to solve this, how are we going to code this up? Say we have the following input text. We want to count up how many occurrences of every single character occur. For that, we want to use a dictionary where the key is going to be the character and the value is going to be the corresponding count. 
So let's initialize our dictionary. Let's call this count. And one way to do this is just to hard code what we're looking for. We're looking for a B, A, L, O, and N. So initially we are gonna have zero Bs, we are gonna have zero As, zero Ls, zero Os, and zero Ns. Now we wanna loop through our input text. So for character in text, we want to see if the character exists in our count dictionary. If character in count, only then do we want to increment the counts. So count at that character plus equals one. In this case, n is in our dictionary. We want to increase that count by one. So count of character n is going to increment by one, which means n goes to one. We go back in this for loop. We are now at O. If character in count, that is true. O is in our dictionary. So we increase that count to one. Go back in our for loop. We're again at O. It is in our dictionary. We increase that to two. We move down. L is in count. So this goes to one. We come across another L. This is now two. We have an A. So this is one A B and another B. Now say we also had an extra character over here in our input text an S. Once we come across this, we'll see that S is actually not in count, so we can't do anything to our dictionary. Now, once we exit, we know exactly how many occurrences of B, A, L, O, and N we have. All we want to do now is return how many words we can actually form. We know the ratio 1B equals one word, 1A equals one word, 2Ls equal one word, 2Os equal one word, and 1N equals one word. So all we want to do is divide. We want to return the minimum of count of B, count of A, count of L divided by two because it takes two L's per word and same with O. So count of O divided by two and count of N. In this case, if we were to calculate this, we would be finding the minimum of count of B. So that's two count of A one count of L divided by two. So two divided by two is one count of O divided by two Two divided by two is also one count of N, which is also one. Now the minimum here is one. So our output is going to be one. We can only form one instance of balloon. Now we can go ahead and submit this and it is accepted. Now talking about space and time complexity for time, we are going through every single character in our input text. So this is going to be O of N if we have N elements in our input. For space, we're only keeping track of five variables in our dictionary. So this is going to be constant O of one. It doesn't matter how big our input gets, we're only ever going to be storing these five keys in our dictionary. So we just went ahead and solved maximum number of balloons from leak code. We did a complete walkthrough with an example input. If you have any questions whatsoever, let me know down below in the comments. If this video was helpful, like, comment, share, and subscribe. It really supports the channel. And as always, I will see you in the next one.